shut down. The rear back of the MacBook is super easy to take off. There's 10 screws. The two in the top middle are a smaller size than the rest of them, but you don't really need to keep track, just remember that. You can see that one of the feet are missing. We actually use a sticker to plug up that hole because there's a hole that goes in through the MacBook shell. You probably don't have to worry about that. From there, the back panel is just secured with two clips in the middle and you can just firmly pull up and the whole backing will come off. Let's take a moment to appreciate how disgusting this back panel actually is. Do you see that? That's the swollen um battery. That is kind of inflated. <laughs> <laughs> What's that white stuff? Oh yeah, there's that too. The left middle cell is swollen, and that's most likely why we need to replace it. I I'm sure that white stuff is just dirt, but I have no clue what it is. Here's a quick look of the internals of the MacBook though. As you can see, the once hole has a sticker over it, so now nothing should get in. Probably should have used hot glue, but she suggested stickers. And the back panel is fine and clean. Since it's aluminum, I just used some isopropyl alcohol. In the middle right is where the battery clips in. You're going to want to pull up on the top part of the connector. Make sure you're very careful. You don't want to pull off the bottom part from the board. There is a screw that you have to remove under this long piece of tape that's on top of it, so you're going to want to take that off as well. And it's to the top right of it, and that holds the battery connector to the frame of the laptop. To the middle left of the laptop, there's going to be this long ribbon cable that clips in right next to the trackpad cable you're just gonna want to pry that off slowly and carefully of course once that's pulled off underneath that there's another clip this is for the speaker you're gonna want to pull that up and it's held to the side of the battery frame with some light adhesive so you're just gonna want to slowly gently pull that off Now it's time to remove the speaker. There's three screws holding it down. Once you get those out, you can pull it up. The screws are three different sizes. Try to remember where they go. If you mess it up, it's not that big of a deal. You'll be able to tell which fits where. And there is like this brown, I don't know what this is, mushroom fungus inside of here? Whatever it is, it is gross. Now time to remove the trackpad ribbon cable. The top part, you're just gonna pull up on it. Again, very carefully, don't rip that ribbon cable. The bottom part is held in with a little clip. So you're gonna push up on the clip and then pull it out towards the battery. Oh yes, and I cannot forget about the scraps of paper that were stuck inside of here. This was not the only one. Time to remove the battery with my trusty assistant. I only had pry tools, so if you only have pry tools, you can get it done. It'll take a few hours, but you'll get it done. It's best to use some isopropyl alcohol. You're going to want to use like 90%, if not 99%. You don't want any water on the electronic. The isopropyl alcohol is going to soften up the adhesive and allow you to pry off the battery easier. But again, like I said, if you don't have any alcohol, you can just use your pry tools and you'll eventually get it out. So as long as you have some good tunes and some good friends, or at least a dog, or even just yourself, just put on a YouTube video and slowly pry that battery off. Be careful not to bend the battery too much, you do not want to crack or puncture it. And then after that, you're just gonna wanna scrape off the adhesive. Now it's time to install the new battery. There's gonna be plastic on the top and plastic on the bottom. The bottom has adhesive and you're just gonna sit that where the old battery was. We're gonna get a green light and then an orange light and this means it is charging. So we did it successfully. Next is gonna calibrate the battery. There are instructions on the iFixit kit, which is in the description below the like button. You wanna charge the newly installed battery up to 100% and keep it charging for at least two hours, I would say three. Then unplug it, use the device normally until it kills itself. Then charge it fully again to 100%. Then you can use it just like normal.